Let's review what an irregular plural noun is. Let's start first by thinking, what is a plural noun? A plural noun is when there is more than one. So a singular noun would, for example, be dog. But if you have more than one dog in your house, you would say dogs. And we added an S at the end. Sometimes, though, we can't always just add an S to make the noun plural. And an example of that is when we have an irregular plural noun. It means it doesn't make sense just to add the S. The word actually changes. So let's take a look at these two sentences in purple, and we're going to look for a noun that means more than one. But it doesn't have just the S at the end. So I'm going to grab my highlighter tool. I'll read the sentence to you, and I want you to think, what is the irregular plural noun in the sentence? The children have fun playing chess with the men. Think about what nouns in there are plural. They mean more than one. One of them is children. If there's only one, there'd be child. But when you mean there's more than one, then we say children. What's the other irregular plural noun in the sentence? The other word is men. One man, many men. Again, remember, a plural noun means when there's more than one. Let's take a look at our second sentence. It says, mice have four small feet. Again, there are plural nouns in there, but they don't just end with an S. They're irregular, and so the word is slightly different. So what words in that sentence mean more than one? Mice is one of them. One mouse, many mice. What's the other word? Feet. Think about that. Do you have one foot? No, you have two feet. We use these words all the time in our sentences, but we didn't think about how this is actually a plural noun, an irregular plural noun. Take a look here. How do I know if a word is a plural noun? Well, remember, it means what? I hope you said more than one. Now, I have two sentences here, and these words aren't going to make sense in them because they're the singular noun. I want you to tell me what the plural noun is, and I'll correct it. So this says, to blank use a map. To man use a map? What is it supposed to be? Men. It's supposed to be men. Let's see if that makes sense. Two men use a map. Nice job. It does. Okay, let's try this one. I see three child playing. That doesn't make any sense. What's the plural form of child? Children. So I will fix that as well. So this is going to be children. And we'll read it again and make sure that it makes sense. I see three children playing. Now the sentence makes sense. This week, we have also been reviewing capital letters and periods. Remember, a statement always begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. You need to remember to use those capital letters in all of your writing. The sentence always starts with that big letter. Okay, let's take a look at these sentences. We need to correct them. If you see a mistake, go ahead and just shout it out. The broth is too hot. Oh, there's a couple of mistakes in here. Yeah, one of the mistakes is that this should be a capital T. I just said capital letters always begin our sentences. 
What else? Yes, these shouldn't be capital letters in the middle of our sentence. They're not a proper noun. They don't need to be capitalized. The word too or hot, no. Anything else? Listen to how I read the sentence. The broth is too hot. Is that a question? Am I asking you something? So what should I switch that question mark to? We need to switch it to the period. There's no reason I have a question mark there. Good job. This sentence looks correct by me now. Let's take a look at the sentence here. The women have fish for lunch. I'm going to already tell you there's three mistakes in that sentence. Go ahead and tell me what they are. One of them right away. There is no punctuation at the end. We can't have that. Yeah, lunch does not need to be capitalized. It's not a proper noun. It's not starting our sentence. Is that it? Yeah, I hope you remember that we always need to start with that capital letter in our sentence. Friends, keep on practicing using your capital letters to start your sentences and for proper nouns. Also remember to always end your sentence with a punctuation mark a period for a statement, a question mark for a question, and if you have an exclamation, which means you sound excited or angry, use that exclamation mark.